Hi y'all, welcome to Random Games and Stuff. This will be our first episode, and also our first episode of the series that we're just about to start for Europa Heroes 4. So here, let's get right into it. We're going to be starting in the continent of Europe. Alright. You're not going to be going from the bigger nations. I mean, a lot of people go for England, Scotland, France. They'll go for a lot of the really big nations. Austria, those are fun, but they're really easy. We want to go for something a little bit smaller, so we're going to start off in a little bit of the German area. We're going to start off with probably a two-tile nation, two... so we can have a little bit of play. You could start off as a one-tile, but you're really working from a disadvantage, and it's going to be much more difficult than if you were to start off with two-tile. So I guess this game, we will start off right here... As we're going to be starting off as the Hesse. I cannot pronounce that. So you're going to have to bear with me. But they are a small independent nation, a little duchy. They are Catholic, of course, because they are their Western technology. They have two tile size, no provinces. Six development, one fort level. A whole lot of other goodies. Let's start off. We're we starting off in 1444, just the beginning of the game. Of course, we're not going to be playing Iron Man mode because I don't feel like running that entire game. Let's see what happens. All right. Pause instantly. Make sure. All right. Europe in 1444 is on the verge of the Age of Discovery, yet is still reeling from the shock of the failed Crusades of Varna as a threat of the Ottoman Empire in the East. The Treaty of Tours left to Western Europe with an uneasy truce, one that looks like it break at any time due to the ambition of France and England and the Duke of Burgundy. In the North, the Conqueror Union remains in place despite the deposition of my king in the Hasidic League, as well as the descent a descendant Swedish, Swedish and Danish nobles. The Russian states are barely starting to peel the free Tartar yoke as the Golden Horde continues to fraction ever since its crushing defeat in the hands of Timur. I'll start and stop here because that's all boring. But alright. Here's we're starting out. We're starting out with a quite a deal of units, I will say. We're gonna pick up some rivals. First we're just gonna look around to look at our Groups. I will not claim to be a professional. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just like to play this game because it's fun. So, we'll start off with the technology. Look at our. Not that, of course. Look at our idea groups. So, I'm going to go over these really quick. Y'all can pause you and actually look at them. That's pretty good. Alright, well, let's get us some rivals. For some we want the farther away nation. We want to have some friends around here so we don't completely die. So, there are friends. Alright, they kind of hate us, so we'll hate them back. People also hate us. Yeah, also while we're over here, we're going to befriend a lot of these nations. Because we would rather not completely go out. Before we finish, we're gonna open up the trade map. So we wanna keep the trade in here, but it's gonna be a little difficult due to the fact that it's always being pushed out. So... We are going to put the trading guy in here. We are going to collect here. Alright. Let it advance just a few days. Perfect, we had, they accepted our alliance. So we are now friends, which is good. We want friends. 
friends will save us. We want to keep Saxony on our side. But they aren't going to have purposes, so we're going to improve relations with them. Let's see, we don't have a lot of money. I'm going to take a look at our economic status currently. We are kind of broke, but we're not really broke. So, I'm going to have to be a little easy on the money. I'm sorry, this game. To give us a little bit more cash, I'm going to turn this down just a tad. See what happens. This will probably be one of the first um, nations we shall attack besides this little tiny place right here. Frankfurt. They hate us? I see why. We are going to take them as soon as possible without completely screwing over the HRE and all that crap. Off the HRE, that will be our downfall. We will completely detonate. We're gonna offer alliance here. Alright, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, if we can look at our alliance, our diplomacy. We are now allied with a lot of these people, which will really save us. Alright. Alright. Let's see if we can get them also aligned. Actually, we'll leave it there for now. That's not a worry. I would get some advisors, but due to our economic cost. It is not profitable right now, so you can go away. I don't care about you either. Alright, let's just let time kind of go forward a little bit in our little nation. Lonsberg has declared war on the new enemy Saxony. Okay, quite interesting. That's your best plan of action, my friend. Some, some spies into here, because I'd really like to take Frankfurt as soon as absolutely possible. Actually, we cannot do that, due to the simple fact that we don't have enough... Oh, yes we do. Alright, we'll just wait a couple turns. but our military is mighty small at the moment. And I would rather not completely obliterate our very small cash reserves, which are already barely existing. Let's see which mission we completed. That's, that's kind of cool. 
Alright, let's check over on the Holy Roman Empire. Alright. Yes. Our goal will be to become an elector. One of the electors of the Holy Roman Empire. If that can happen, then it will be a very good day for us. First, I want to expand our territory just a little. It's going to be a little difficult because we're kind of weaving in the Empire, but we should still be able to do it. Saxony. And we're also Well, we'll give it our best shot. In our first war. Alright, let's see. See what happens. Prestige and legitimacy? Perfect. Now taking over that. Ooh, I completely forgot about that hostile force. at 7.48, so we need 13 more before we can actually finish up that spy network if I could claim to conquer that little territory, which will be nice, because I kind of want it a lot. Oh, it appears we have fulfilled another mission, which would have to be build force on it. Yes, I have. All right. We're now at negative fourteen percent on the siege. Okay, well, keep things interesting. So, they, they, they like us. 
Everybody likes us, we all hate them. Or not them, but... We all hate these guys, because they're, they're complete assholes, so... That's not the problem. We love them. Alrighty. So next plan of attack. So once we finish this war, which means we need to finish the siege, we'll bring our units back here to wait for the or to be able to fabricate the claim. Which right now we are at 16.83. It's almost been a year, which is awesome. Eighteen point seven. That's not a problem. Ooh, we are at a negative, which is bad. We're going to have to withdraw our units for now. Alright, for years now, imperial authority over the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Successive emperors have failed to Im impose their will on the Italian states, and large areas that are formerly part of the empire have been lost to Venice and the papal, the papal states, who have rejected the emperor's right to them. Unless, is, unless northern Italy is firmly brought back into Europe, the states will either slip out of imperial control forever. set up before we go in for the strike. I know it's low, but we are currently broke. So, they are on farming terms with succeed their capital to Saxony. They suffer aggressive expansion, they gain prestige. Life is good. Alright. But we are currently just reading. Sorry about that. I take the cap. I am 100% down with that. Very rival. But that is not what we're going for. Due to the fact that it's a screw so. The fabricate plane. with us. Alright. They will call their ally. We have a nice good save right here. Right, yes, yeah, so they will call their ally into the war. Alright. 
Alright. Well, let's start our war and claim Frankfurt. Alright, we're gonna start off. So, apparently we are getting our butts warped. This is due to the fact that they had a much higher morale before the start of this. But, it is fine because we have just backed up reinforcements, which will save us. Alright, they are done. We are now currently firing at the province. Perfect. Everything is going just to plan. They are being taken care of, and we are claiming this to be ours. It will take quite a while due to the fact that we are. working on a very uphill battle. We might have to take out a loan. It, it would not be very fun, but... Alright, so... We're now minstrels across our ancient borders. His intention is to roam our country when joys all wear him, but some say his ears are only finished for us to hear his music. I say, let him go to wherever he wishes. We are a good nation. And stability is really useful when trying to claim other nations. So they are behalf on Alright, so we they are negotiating for merely themselves. Cast belly suffers zero aggressive expansion. is over. We're just gonna cancel that out. So we're not actually going broke. Alright, nice, nice. Care about that. Don't really care much about that. Alright. So now we are just currently waiting for them to. We just gotta hold them out for a long time. Oh. Make sure our money stays positive. And I would like to get rid of this inflation pretty fast, even if it's a high cost for us. Just due to inflation can really screw everything up. We'll have more money in the long run. Figure out the inflation. Alright, there we are. At the moment, negative 
Shortage, nice, nice. We have one. Siege has lasted 500 days before the garrison finally succ succumbed to hunger and disease. We now control the province and their nation. This is now ours. I don't want any of their money. I don't want to have to deal with that. That nice. Now let's take a look see here. So why are we so broke? Well, that is just the fact we have this castle here that we cannot afford. So we need to mothball it. Also to We should be fine now. Absolutely fantastic. As long as the rebels aren't too high, we should be fine. We also need to find a new rival. Wurzburg is now a rival to us. We are allied to one of their rivals. I don't really see anybody else for us to hit at the moment, so... Might as well. That sounds like a plan there. Now, our rival. I would also like to make sure we get, we're always up to par. That's it all. Hey, I'm gonna wait till we finish core construction for Frankfurt. Alright, let's see here. Emperor Austria demands we return the problem of Frankfurt to the Holy Empire, the Roman Empire. The Nine is present. Zero is here. of being a greedy and cruel person. The local populace have gathered the position to be removed. Let's take a look at our prestige up here. We have 16. Let's take a look at the stability we cost. We 75 to get some more stability. Oh, no, sorry. We have 240 for stability. I would rather lose the prestige because I can gain that back. July 1st at 
We are the 16th in the world as being one of the strongest nations. Even our little tiny nation is like that. Alright, we are now 91%. Our economic balance is doing much great. Trade has increased, I do believe. Yes. Now at 94. 697, 98, 99, 100. And now our land. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Well, I hope this has been a wonderful first episode. We have already expanded our nation and conquered Frankfurt for ourselves. We shall be moving on probably to this area next to conquer them. Würzburg. So I think y'all have a wonderful day. Like, comment, subscribe. Doing all that kind of stuff. Life is good. I'm the random gamer and stuff. Let's keep doing what we do.